Hey YouTube, it's your boy Rocket Ross. Uh, today I'm back with the second episode in the After Effects tutorial series. Uh, today we're going to be learning how to do, basically when you fire a sniper rifle or any gun, how to make the screen look like it's just shattered. Um, so what I'm going to do straight away is I'm going to show you uh, a preview of the effect and then obviously we'll jump into After Effects and um, show you how to do that. So yeah, that's the uh, shatter effect. Um, as you saw there, I just used the, my previous edit on the third snipe. Uh, just made it look like the screen shad as I fired the rifle. So let's jump straight into After Effects. Um, straight from the bat, just go to new composition, click on new composition. Just make sure you've got all the values set, 1287-20p and your frame rate. Click OK. Uh, what we're going to do first of all is that we're going to actually create the smashing effect before we put it over the video. Um, so what I'm going to be doing for you guys, there's going to be a link in the description to a file which has um, about four or five different bullet holes. Um, so you can choose which one's going to be best for you. So just here, I think I've loaded up. Yeah, here we go. I've got all these um, different materials like bullet holes. Um, and you can just pick which one's best for the clip you're using. So I think I'm just going to I'll use that one that's highlighted already. Just drag that into your project media bin in After Effects like so. And then all you need to do is just drag it down into your timeline. So as you can see now, you know we've got the bullet hole there, uh, but I don't know. Depending on yours, mine always starts a bit bigger than what it's supposed to be. So all you need to do is just drag these purple lines, like so. No, not like that. <laughs> drag, drag the actual box bit so it shrinks like that. There we go. So once you've got that lined up, what you then need to do is go over to this where it says effects and presets over on the right hand side and just type in the word shatter like that and then it will come up with a simulation and a shatter effects all you need to do is just click on that and then simply drag it to this picture and um, it will change like this into kind of like bricks and a bit of wireframe there but we're going to be changing the values now so don't worry about that um, so where it says view here on the left and it says wireframes and forces you want to click on the down arrow and change it to rendered um, so now you can see the bullet holes back, uh, but what we, it's still going to be in the shape of like bricks coming apart. But we want to change that to make it look like it's glass shattering. So where it says shape here, um, and now say bricks. Click on the down arrow and set that to glass. So if we were to move across now on the timeline, scrub across like this, you'll see that the bullet hole, the actual picture, shatters really nice like that. So that's the first part of it done. So what we need to now do is add that over. Um, a video that we're going to be using. So the video I'm going to be using is just that one I showed you in the test clip. So I think I've got it here. Yep. Just drag that. Um, just drag it into the timeline if you like that. And then it'll be if you click on this tab here called Project, it will be there for you. Here we go. So then just drag that below the bullet hole effect. Yeah. But at the moment we can't see it like this because it's hidden by the black of the bullet hole effect. So what you need to do is at the bottom here, if you don't have it switched on, just click this button here, toggle switches and modes. And now you will see that on the windshield tab, there's a button next to it called mode, and it will be on normal to start with. What you want to do is click down on the down arrow and set that to add. So now, as you can see, the bullet hole is over the footage that we're going to be using. Um, in regards to your footage, you don't need to put your whole, you know, your whole montage in there. Just in Sony Vegas, just highlight the bit and render the only the bit that you're going to be needing for After Effects as Vegas generally renders faster than After Effects and you don't want to be wasting too much time. So I've got the clip here and all I'm going to do is just you know use the, um, the scrub bar to go across to find where I want the effect to start. So for me it was about, let's go back, where he fires the gun, there for me, oh, hold on, there. So leave your red line there, and then all you need to do is click on the purple part, anywhere on the purple part, not at the beginning, on it like that, and just drag it to the red line like so. So if you were to scrub across now like this, as you can see, as the Twixter scopes on like that, shoots the screen, then shatters apart like so. Um, one thing you may notice is that it's not always shattering right at the middle of the screen where you want it to. So if we just go into 100%, 
um, zoom in and then go to the start of the shatter Let's, I'll just check mine so it's not 100% bang in the middle so all you need to do is once you've clicked if you go back to where it says effects and controls and you're on the shatter make sure you clicked on shatter you'll see like a little purple cross there all you want to do is just move that slightly to the center of the actual smash like so like that so as you move across now the smash will actually come bang on from the center of the bullet hole that we're using so that looks really nice now that's pretty much done um, the next bit is just personal preference it's just whether you know how fast you want these glass pieces to shatter apart so you can you know you can play around with the force and um, the depth radius and strength that will just you know determine how far and how wide the glass pieces shatter and then you've also got a tab down here which is physics um, I often change the gravity from 3 to 4, it just makes the pieces sink a bit faster because you don't want it to go on too long so something like 3.5, 4, some, that'd do, you know, that'd be fine so if we just went to, if we just did like a dynamic re RAM preview now, just put it to here by pulling the work area in and then just click the fire button over here, this will do like a RAM preview you see the green bar going across at the bottom now it's just so we can look at it in real time before actually clicking the render button so there we go, so I could just watch that back now. And that looked really nice. Just watch it a few times just to make sure you got it right. Perfect. So that's how to do the shatter effect. Um you know you can play around with these numbers like I said, it's all on personal preference and um you know see what you can come up with. Um, if any of you guys use this effect after watching this tutorial, you know, feel free to uh, leave a video response or you know post a link to your own video where you've used it in a montage something like that I'm more than happy to see what you guys are doing once you've uh, you know you've learnt these effects uh, but yeah in regards to the shatter effect that's really it for today guys so cheers um, as always if you've got any comments or queries just leave a personal message or a comment or whatever you want to do and uh, yeah that's it guys thanks